what's going on guys welcome back to the channel i'm back with another video and yes we're gonna talk about what's going on with the tank guys uh let me show you guys real quick what's going on guys you see that up there so at the terminate that's news as algae i got news as algae all over the back wall of my tank and and yes, guys, that's what I'm dealing with. I was getting this stuff like in my sand bed. And I was trying to figure it out. I've been dealing with this for the past, I don't know how long. So, anyways. So, I was like, okay, I'm dealing with this for the, a long time already. So, I have to figure out what's going on. So, I just, you know, searching online, reading, and... I came through that, you know, dosing potassium nitrate, if your potassium is too elevated, like, which is my tank, I have it right now sitting at 460 ppm, which that's way too high. And I read that if you have your potassium way too high like that, guys, you start getting news as algae. And that's the problem, what's going on on my tank um let's go back for a little bit so before i used to turn my protein skimmer um the fish is going crazy i used to turn my protein skimmer 12 hours off a day and i was feeding a lot just to get my nutrients up a little bit my nitrate was running at 0.5 right now they're sitting at 10 ppm uh but i was having issues to bring my nitrates up, so I was feeling way too much. So I was like, you know what? I gotta come up with a better solution. I have videos. I have a video talking about it. I was like, I gotta come up with a better solution, guys. So I was like, okay. I was reading about this product. Let me show you guys real quick. I'm sorry about that. So I was reading, I was just some couple of videos on YouTube about those in potassium nitrate. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to come up with my own solution and let's give it a shot. The thing is, um, well, I've been using that stuff. You guys know I've been tossing that stuff for the past, i say like uh, three weeks now. So I'm dosing that stuff, plus I'm doing every two weeks water change. Why I'm doing water change often? I never do water change like that, guys. I'm doing it because I did an ICP test in back in September, and I had some trace element that was kind of low. So I ended up buying Trapping Marine Salt, which is BRS got a video on it talking about it. It's a good salt, and it got some minor and major trace element. So that's the reason that I choose going with that salt. And plus to try it out, to see, you know, how my corridor was going to react to the new, you know, new salt. Anyways, by doing water changes every two weeks and dosing potassium nitrates, guy, I increase my potassium way too high. And by increasing my potassium that high, there's some coral that have effect on it. And you guys know that I had a video too talking about, let me show you guys my Miami Charlotte's right here. I had a video. My Miami Charlotte was sitting in this section right here. And I'm over here thinking there was getting way too much light and that's I guess that was me guessing guys and I just move it right here to the lot light but the thing is that the Miami Hurricane Charles guy I will post a photo so you guys see the original color the coral chain color completely and right now the coral is looking kind of red same thing with this acre right here. This acre should be kind of greenish, a little red too. So it's a problem I'm going to by, you know, dosificando esto. Los nutrientes, you know, para subir los nutrientes con esto del nitrato y potasio, pero ahora mismo mi potasio está demasiado alto. Está a 460 ppm. Tú tienes que tenerlo a 400. So right now they're sitting at 460 ppm, my potassium, guys. And that's when I was I was like, okay, I got to go online. And I was reading this article. 
And he said, by having the potassium that high, you will get Nunes' algae. And that's what's going on right here. You will get Nunes' algae, and it comes different color. This one look like a red, kind of like looking like cyano, but it's not cyano. It's kind of like a, a carpet. So that's why I know there was a problem. I have it all over my wall, back at the wall of the tank. Even the rocks got a little bit. I was getting in my sand bed, the sand bed looking kind of clean now. So it's been almost a week that I stopped dosing potassium nitrate, guys. Yes, it's been almost a week because I have to figure out what's going on. Um, this product is good. So like I said, I did an ICP test. The ICP test came back. My nitrate was low and my potassium was low. So that's why I chose to dose this on my tank. But by doing water chain every two weeks, I was increasing the potassium even higher. So I was making things even worse. So right now I'm not doing water chains, guys. You know, I stopped doing water change and let's see, you know, how the system is going to react now. I'm just going to let for the tank to absorb all the potassium is in the water column and, you know, wait. I'm just going to give it time. I'm not gonna be dosing that stuff no more, but I come out with something different, and it's this right here. If anybody use this product, comment down below and let me know. I will give it a shot. Sodium nitrate. I heard this stuff is really concentrate high. It's more concentrated what I'm dosing, so I gotta be careful I don't burn my corals. So yes, esto es lo que voy a usar ahora. Pero voy a esperar que la tosa alga se me vaya de la pecera. So, I might remove all that algae by I'm going to have probably go inside the tank. I'm trying to remove everything, guys. But, like I said, my corals, they're way too big. Um, and then if I scrape everything, it's going to fall behind these rocks that I have here. It's going to fall behind all those rocks. It's going to be for me, it's going to be hard for me to get and clean the tank back there. Yes, guys, it's just my tank is overpacked. The coral, they're looking awesome. They're growing. Don't get me wrong. This stuff is good. If you using this and using a good salt, or like whatever salt you use to do your water change, yo, check your potassium and make sure your potassium is on point because you can increase your potassium and, and get news is algae that's what i read online and that's what i figured it out guys so anyways so i got me a solid for potassium test kit that's what i got and that's how the chimney my potassium was high i own one of these way back i'm talking about like probably three years ago and never use it again because i'm not a person to do water chain like that but my coral was looking kind of pale, so I was like, let me just start doing water chain every two weeks to see if I can bounce the color of, you know, of my corals. So, yes, guys. So, like I say, comment down below and let me know if you guys are going through the same problem and if anybody run, running through the same problem. I know if you dose too much potassium, your coral they start changing color, and that's what's going on. Other than that, the older... All my cores are looking good. They're doing awesome. They're growing pretty fast. I got to get my hand inside the tank and start cutting. Um, so, yes, guys, it's, you know, this is what we're here for. I, I, I like to see stuff like this happening, like corals growing. This coral is almost coming out of the water. The Kali Thor is coming almost. Oh, um, look at that, guys. It's almost right there, right, right on top. So I gotta get my hand inside the tank and start cutting. I would do private videos, show you guys like a, a top view, but this canopy is kinda low. It's gonna be hard for me to record everything from the top of, of the tank. But I'm gonna do it for you. You guys can see how the core they look from the top. It's, they look crazy. So, man, I hope you guys love this video. I hope everybody having a wonderful day. Happy um, Thanksgiving. To everyone, um, I'm doing my best to post video every week, guys. You know, I work, 
I'm, I own my own house, and there's a lot of cleaning I have to do outside. <laughs> you know, fall is here, and it's getting cold, and you know how it is, guys. But anyways, I hope you like you guys like this video, man. Thumbs up, comment down below, and let me know if you guys running through this problem. I just figured it out, and like I said, don't don't stop doing your water change. You like I said, stop doing water change for you dosing this stuff. But if you're not dosing this and everything's going fine with your tank, you gotta stick with your water change. That's good for your coral, and plus you removing a lot of waste from your fish. And I think I'm gonna do my water change now, eh, probably once a month. Una vez al mes, voy a hacer los cambios de agua. Y es para remover mal todo lo que los peces cagan y, y mean. Sí, cagan. But I don't know about peeing, guys. <laughs> Anyways, but yes, I want to leave you guys here. And like I said, comment down below. And happy holiday to everyone. See you guys in the next one.